life that I am is my body. So I love being a human or having a human body and having a human experience on earth is what I want to say I love, you know? Um, I know who I am and I identify myself as the truth of who I am. The, the, I presume the everlasting or the the very like long living invisible entity, the, the divine invisible being that's using my physical body, you know? But I want to say in this video that like, I love the experience of the wonder ride, the joy, the experience of having a physical body and in a physical world. So this is just a temporary, sort of, not really fully real, and not the fullest of realness anyway, at the deepest level, if you know what I'm saying. The spirit is the invisible life force that we are, consciousness. But I think, like, having a human experience is really nice. Like, I love all the things about, like, life. <coughs> Excuse me. I love like I love like I love physicality, I love exercise, I love playing my baby, my children, I love having a, a wife and partner, I love having a physical body to move, to have fun, I like eating. I'm even enjoying more and more like stuff like fasting and having an empty stomach and a rested empty body, digestive breaks. I love learning, I love expressing myself, I love sharing, I love tuning into and growing in stuff like kindness and understanding, compassion, friendliness, peaceful, like caring thoughts towards people. I love learning how to de-stress myself and like tune into my heart more instead of my head and my ego. I'm enjoying learning how to be softer instead of like tougher and harder and rougher in my thoughts and behavior. And towards people, you know, basically ego and hurt and pain, like tuning out of the lower, the frequencies that are no better or worse, but, you know, they're not as sort of like different, they're different, like some people say they're lower frequencies or they're slower moving frequencies, I think by definition they may be slower, whereas stuff like excitement, enthusiasm, exhilaration, love, kindness and compassion, all the virtues and excitement, they're all like faster. And I think our crown chakras and our chakras up further are faster oscillating uh, speedy chakras instead of our base chakras of physicality, the root, uh, the sacral chakra, etc. But I love all the chakras, like I love sacral, I love the root, I love I love the throat chakra expressing and creating and being a divine creator. I love like being me, my the divine, the divine spiritual inner silent visible being that I am. I love that. I love me. I love that. I love that within everybody. I love the fact that having a body acts as like an instrument or a vessel or a vehicle, which I'm kind of like hiring or using, you know, to play, to play me, to play the, the song of my heart, the song of my spiritual being. So the body gives me a chance to express myself, to, be, to, to express who I am and where, where I'm going. Who I'm becoming, who I choose to become, because it is a choice. At least when you're conscious, it's a choice. When you're more conscious or unconscious, isn't really an on and off switch per se. At least in overall life, but in the moment, it is a bit of a switch. You can become unconscious, react, be in our ego, be in our pain and our hurt. But then, then suddenly, in the next few moments or minutes or an hour or two or three later, we're like snap out of the act of racing thoughts um, and mind and then then we can become in our heart and we can make a decision like a better a clearer decision we can realize like how we were and maybe that's not how we want to be you know so that's the way it is in my life anyway i'm pretty sure it's pretty much the same for you for definite we're all the same we're all innocent beautiful creatures i love the fact that humans are innocent beautiful creatures i i totally 100 percent believe in ets 100 percent you know So, here we go. We ain't the only, like, vessel, you know? We aren't the only instrument or vessel or vehicle that the spirit uses. Like, so many souls or spirits, whatever you want to call them, come to the physical world. And there's multiple galaxies and, like, planets and places that the physical body can incarnate in, you know? Or the spirit can incarnate or become in, you know? So I love the diversity of physical life. Like, I don't know, I think, like, physical life is a tremendous creation. Like, some people call it God or consciousness or... Great spirit, a lot of Native American, Native Indians or Native Americans or like you know, tribes and cultures used to call it great spirit. I know it's just gorgeous. Like I think it's very clever. Like the biology, the chemistry, the electromagnetics, the, the physics. I think it's all a wonderful like idea and the creation's great. 
So like God or source, some people call it the great mind for, for the same reason I'm thinking I'm expressing it's like it was such a good idea like to make life or not not to make life per se but to make make the hologram the the illusion of life, the the feeling, the idea, the experience of physical life for our spirit, our essence, our true self. I like those two words, essence and true self. I think it's beautiful. I love I love I love everything. Almost. I like the nice things much more, obviously, that I feel nice, but I'm not against, like, discomfort or even pain to a certain degree, because they are a worthwhile, valuable experience, and they teach us, like, virtues, and they deepen us colossally, so, yeah, and I, I accept things, and I accept emotions, I just, we all, I just try to do my best, everyone tries to do the best, like, we're all innocent trying to do our best, and we all want the same thing, which is peace, and happy connections, and friendships, and getting on well with each other. We all just don't want to be hurt, and we all want people to care for us, and when people don't care for us, then we're like, we, we do stuff like ignore them, um, be sad inwardly, but our outward behaviours usually aren't vulnerable, they're usually, they're not like usually, like, I felt really sad and hurt, and I just wish you'd be kind to me, usually we're more like, you did that, you did this, it's more like a lot of anger or can be expressed instead of like tender vulnerability as if we're weak almost people don't want to appear weak so we express like we express our wishes and hurt upsets like in a, in a way that isn't very conducive to a quick a quick uh, making up and a, a deeper a closer connection like quickly enough so i know humans are beautiful like, it's like we're basically we're all struggle like we're all struggle doing our best innocent and making mistakes and i only have compassion for that at least when I remember, sometimes when I'm triggered in my pain, I do what I did. I do what I described earlier, like being erasing thoughts. But nowadays, when I know I'm in erasing thoughts, I'm like, I know I'm triggered. Something's come up. The last time I was triggered, I was triggered a lot for around an hour and a half, which is a very unusual occasion because usually I'm, I'm never triggered. Well, usually I'm not triggered with anyone else except for. Well, usually I'm not triggered a lot with anybody else except for my partner. But this time I got triggered not by my partner someone a family member has a lot and I just I just remember like I, I wrote a quick message back and I was just like it wasn't the usual me and I knew it I knew I was triggered I'm like I spent an hour and a half watering down the message making it softer and softer and less rough hard and sort of unfriendly kind of just much more softer and less abrasive but I'm like well if they if they said that to me then I'm gonna give it back to them <laughs> That was my hurt and pain speaking though. Oh, little by little I was opening up my heart again. That was hurt and closed down. So I was very innocent and I was struggling and I was just doing my best. Just like my, my family member, you know. Just doing our best, innocently wanting to get on with each other. That's why it is with everybody, like partners do. Even like strangers, like strangers don't want to feel stressed and fight with you. I know humans are gorgeous species. Love humans. I love animals, I love nature, I love, you know, I just want to love everyone, we are loving, I'm a loving being at heart, and I know you are too, so, just remember that, my friends, so if you can, if you can remember this and think of feeling from an emotional place instead of a mental place, you will know the answer, because love is the answer, and emotions are the answer, the emotional living, we're all so close when we think of it from an emotional place, like I just described. I love the sun, I love the weather, I love so many things about life, like, what do you love, I bet you love loads of stuff about life, right? I love cars, I love driving, I love running, I love scooting, I love sca sca like maybe skateboard occasionally, I love chess, to be honest, like, what I do in my own life is I like chess and I like cycling there, well, that's what I do, I also love, like, running, just a little bit, um, and I love nature, you know, I love my family, but they're my hobbies I just mentioned, you know. If, if it's not too cold, I love swimming in the sea. I love sunbathing, I have to say. I'm really like a sun being. I do identify to a small way, but in a big way, physically, but not really my essence, you know. But in terms of physically, I definitely like a sun being. Healers and psychics are that about me, and I just totally feel the exact same way, you know. Some people are water creatures, some people are mountain creatures in the land. I'm just all with the sun, and the light, and the space, and the brightness. I love that. Anyway, friends, I gotta, gotta go, so, anyway, take care, love.
lots of love. I hope you had a nice day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel welcome to subscribe, like and share, refriend me on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, check out my description below the video. You'll see all the links. I'd love to hear from you. Send me a little private, small personal message if you feel like it. If you like my videos, like, anything like that. Let me just turn this off for a second. Um, connect. I'm sure any of my work, if you want to coaching or counselling, like that type of stuff, coaching, I call it coaching or healing, I do that for individuals and families and especially for relationships, relationships and individuals, you know, that's my passion, that's, that's a big purpose for me in life, just to help people and relationships and ultimately the family too, if there's kids involved, because that's what it's all about, that's my biggest passion, purpose and calling, so to speak, that's my biggest excitement, and like I said, different video, I'm not good at like handyman stuff or all this sort of stuff. I'm just happy to be good at this. That's just the way life has brought me, you know. I never never tried hard to come to where I am. It just happens to be the way, what happened to me in my life, you know. Thankfully I'm home, so it's been a bit of a ride. So I hope you enjoyed. Loads of love and then um, yeah, love and respect. Talk to you another time. Take care. Bye bye. If you feel like sharing anything like inspirational or what you love in life, feel welcome.